welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about the 4 watt broadband amplifiers 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi boosters um, that you can get from China. They're, you can get them between 20 to maybe 30 pound uh, UK. Um, I'm not sure what the dollar equivalent of that is but they're very 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 cheap. Now as you know this is a drone channel it's not a radio based channel even though I do have quite a bit of radio experience but this um, booster has a application when it comes to drones and I'm going to show you how as some of you may know by my previous videos the DJI Mavic or any other DJI device with a controller that has its own antenna um, doesn't look anything like mine at all they are literally just this bit here that's red with two little tiny antennas that um, stick up here, okay? The omnidirectional antennas. And then they, they fold down like this, okay? Um, but these four watt boosters have an application on these. Um, now, as we know, if you're in Europe, UK, you have stock CE power on these things. Now, these things are quite powerful. They say that you can have um, up to four mile range from these little tiny transmitters. And they are literally tiny. As you can see by the size of my hands, they are really, really small. But for long distance flying, uh, especially in real world applications, they aren't, that, they aren't brilliant. They, they don't really have much penetration power, should we say. So um, in CE, uh, CE power mode, uh, which is in Europe and UK and some other countries, you only get a 20 dBm output from one of these. If you're in the USA, you get a 26 dBm output from these. And I'll show you that right now from DJI's Mavic Transmitter spec sheet. You'll see them at the top, CE and FCC. So, as I said, they don't have much penetration. They don't have much punch power to get through buildings and trees. You can go a fair distance. Um, um, my friend called the old guy on one of our one of our groups um, got you know a nice tidy 5.2 uh, kilometer um, flight out on a completely stock setup. Um, I think he was using FCC power because he was using our modded app. Um, but yeah, you've got a 5.2 kilometer um, stock set up, no fancy antennas, nothing else. Now, back to the boosters. Now, these are the boosters. And these are both 4 watt each. They're both 4 watt boosters, okay? So basically, it takes the power from the stock controller and it goes in one end, in one end, sorry, and then it pushes the boosted power out into whatever antenna that is you've got set up. As you can see on this one, I've got the IC Light Nano Sync from Max UAV, and it is a very, very good tried and tested antenna. This box here, inside here, is a power pack. I tried to make a clean, tidy setup. As you can see, these are both reversed. The one's upside down, one's not, just so I can have the, the wiring all tidy. But, um, yeah, in here is a power pack. This is what powers these. These are rated from a six to a 16 volt operating power, if I read correctly on the box. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, six, six to 18 volts they will run off, okay? Um, they've only got a, a 2.5 dB noise, um, which is pretty low, um, and they say that they've got 13 dB transmit gain and a 10 dB receive gain. Um, they also run in the spectrum of 2.4 to 2.5 megahertz. Now, as you're about to see by some of these screenshots, I'm going to show you some figures of, of uh, bench testing these babies, which I found off of another channel, which I'll link below. As you can see on this graph, 
it runs from 2.3 gigahertz which was what is basically promised uh, even though it said 2.4 on the box and then it runs all the way up to a 2.5 gigahertz on the spectrum so that's 2.3 to 2.5 gigahertz so the broadband on here is pretty pretty wide as you can see on this screenshot it's given out a 25.89 dB gain on the transmit side of things this is with a 10 uh, 10 dB attenuator plugged in so the real world output is around the 36 dB gain mark which is what is promised on the box this is a great improvement bearing in mind in FCC mode you only get 26 dBm output so you're getting a 36 dB output using these boosters which is a 10 dB gain completely as you can see on this graph there's a 14.88 dB gain this is the receiving gain so this is what you're receiving back so this is going to greatly improve the video link coming back from the drone as you can see by this screenshot there is one small bleed over onto another part of the spectrum using these bearing in mind they're Chinese made this is to be expected and it's in the 1 gigahertz range 1.7 gigahertz but they basically stick to their range of 2.3 to 2.5 gigahertz um, which is the unlicensed band so we're not going to have many major problems to be honest a lot of people are building these now ever since I built mine a couple of other people have built theirs we're all now building them, we're all ordering the same boosters 4 watt from Chinese sellers because they're tried and tested and adding one of these booster packs to the back of your controller it adds a little bit of weight and a little bit of bulk but for a real world application it's worth it you can't beat having a stronger signal out or in so I'd strongly suggest boosting your controller and it's fully reversible as well as you can see by this picture the booster pack that has been built has just been simply connected to the NanoSync antenna's bracket using a GoPro bracket so if you want to remove it and get rid of it you can it's pretty easy my conclusion for this basically is it's definitely worth boosting your RC for your DJI craft you're getting a 16 dBi gain if you're in the UK or EU and you're getting a 10 dBi gain if you're in the USA so either way you're gonna get a vast improvement out and a vast improvement with your receiving side too and I would strongly suggest using one of these Itolite NanoSync antennas or various other antennas that are also available online um, I'll put some links in the description I may not put them on the description straight away but if you check back to the video after I don't know maybe a few hours I would have put all of the information that you need in the description too so I'm gonna say thanks for watching and the next video that I do which will be a part two of these boosters information um, will show you a real world result instead of a bench result um, we're going to show you some signal improvements hopefully <laughs> and we're going to show you the difference between having a booster plugged in and not having a booster plugged in uh, at all so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates especially if you want to see the part two of the real world application and real world results we'll show you some ser some uh, signal tests via the app uh, on screen recordings and some other bits and pieces thanks for watching